Hey everyone, this is Dylan. Hi, hello. Hope everyone is having a lovely Saturday. And today I'm doing an aerial video. We're doing an unboxing of an aerial Mattel doll. This is Playline. So this is not included in any collector versions of Ariel from Mattel. Uh, but so far, this is kind of like, I guess one of the deluxe, more um, accessorized versions of Ariel. Um, it seems like they have the basic dolls and they have like a level up to like the dolls with more accessories, more deluxe dolls, play sets. So it's just very, very interesting. But I think that this Ariel doll in particular is very beautiful. Of course, I love the new Ariel face sculpt from 2023. This particular doll is called Sea Stories Ariel, and I believe it's because uh, with the character Ariel here and her little accessories, we are able to tell a fun sea story. You know, maybe we'll sing some sea shanties while we do it. <laughs> um, so first off, there is this beautiful image of Ariel from Mattel. This is a wonderful um, updated look at the Ariel clip art from the Disney princesses. She looks beautiful there and she has her seashell bra. This is made by Mattel and it says three plus. Um, this is sold in other areas as there is some other languages there. It looks like Spanish. I recognize that definitely. Ariel's tail is there in the background. Um, we will have to pop that thing on whenever we get her out of the box, but you can just see there's some cool little details on her fin. Um, you know, this might also be sort of like something that could be used like in the bathtub, like kids or like in the pool. Um, although I wouldn't want to get her hair too, too crazy. <laughs> Looks like included there is accessories of a bracelet, a dingle hopper, a mirror, a necklace, and Sebastian. There's actually another doll that is sort of similar to this. So um, there's Ariel, which is Sea Stories Ariel. And then there is a doll called Castle Stories Belle, which I have done a review of on my channel. Um, she is so, so beautiful. And it's sort of the same thing. Like it's the, the princess with some accessories and just to kind of... Um, make it a little bit more grand. There's also one called, uh, I think it's called Painting Stories Rapunzel. So, and I will be doing a review of her on my channel in the near future. But yeah, the Bell doll is very pretty. And I think let's, um, at the end of the video, I will actually get the Bell doll and then we can just kind of look at the Deluxe Playline Ariel and Deluxe Playline Bell. <laughs> All right, so behind her, there's this beautiful under the sea, like, um, um, I guess it's just like a scene. There's like some coral. Looks like Atlantica is back there. We will, of course, take a look at that momentarily without any of the plastic. The uh, box is faceted, of course, like all Mattel Disney Princess dolls. They, they fit very well together. <laughs> So the back of the box is very beautiful. This is Ariel singing Part of Your World. We all recognize this scene, absolutely. And of course, the little dancing couple, we all recognize that. <laughs> it's purple and everything is just shimmering here. There's like sparkles everywhere. It is so beautiful. Looks like a little shimmery shell there. Another one here. Gorgeous. It says Disney Princess, and again, the product's name is Sea Stories Ariel, and there is a complete description here. Free spirited Ariel explores the world above the waves on her journey to fulfill her dreams. So perhaps that's our inspiration for this doll set. <laughs> it is made by Mattel, licensed by Disney. That is the barcode and just um, other information there. Not sure what a lot of it means. <laughs> All right, so to open this up, there's not gonna be much saving packaging. Unfortunately, that is just how Mattel Disney dolls are, you know, except for collector dolls. Um, but let's just sort of see. I think I almost had it. Like I was super duper close. You just have to get like a good little spot. Voila. This will allow us to see Ariel. Woo! Oh my gosh, it looks like the Ariel doll that I got has some smudges on her face. I'll see if I can fix that. Otherwise, she is just beautiful. Wow, this actually feels very old Mattel to me. Um, I know it's not, but this really feels more vintage. And I love that crown. Isn't that pretty? 
Wow. What we will do is just deconstruct here. There's just several little things holding everything in. And of course the accessories are held in by plastic. Um, scissors are needed here just because that will make our life easier. So um, where Ariel's bottom half is mostly plastic, we should be able to remove a lot of that um, very simply. Now, I don't want to ruin her hair. So what we'll have to do is sort of uh, get to the back side of the of the cardboard and that will allow us to get out all those little ties that are you know holding her curls in because um, with the bell doll I learned that if you just sort of pull it out of the rubber bands um, it's gonna ruin the hair so yeah bad lesson learned <laughs> Okay, so I was able to get all of that off of there successfully without hopefully ruining any hair. Um, this is beautiful. I love this little curl here. There's actually a rubber band around that curl specifically, so I don't know if all the, all the dolls have that same curl or what, but yeah, it was held in there. Um, very, very nice, but look how nice and rolled her hair is. It's very lovely. Um, of course, we turn around and there's the flat box here, but honestly, it's very beautiful. Um, I don't think it will really need much help. Belle, on the other hand, whenever I got Belle, it was just horrid. Um, the, the box hair in that doll. So uh, maybe you just need to, whenever you pick one out at the store, which I, uh, Walmart, Target, uh, wherever you can buy Disney toys, um, maybe just check out what Ariel's hair looks like in the box, but it looks very beautiful. Wow. Rolled up, very Aurora, you know? <laughs> um, so yeah, I love that little curl there. She has a pink sparkly tiara that has uh, seashells on it. Um, she's getting very close to the camera, trying to hold her still, and it's got little gems on it. Very pretty, very sparkly. It's very vintage Mattel. <laughs> Blue eyes. She has her lovely pink lips. So I don't know what this was about, but I guess I got a doll that has a smudge on it. Um, so I don't know if that's like part of the paint or what, but yeah, I'm really sort of bummed about that. I didn't even notice whenever I bought this doll, um, but that's okay, you know. Uh, maybe that means I just need to go get another one. <laughs> so I thought that the top was removable, um, but it is uh, molded on and it's uh, based on her mermaid seashell bra. But this time it has like a um, halter top, I suppose. I think that's what that is called. There's a heart in the middle, little swirlies, just very, very ocean vibe, you know, very um, under the sea vibe. Uh, what's different about this aerial doll though is that you can move her arms up like that. They don't go any other way, but um, typically with the molded on tops, they can't do that. So I really, really like that. This little bracelet is actually included as an accessory, but it is on her. Ooh, man, that did not want to stay on. Hang on. Um, so it's a little pearl bracelet, but it's sort of, sort of like stretched, I think. So it doesn't seem like it wants to stay on there. <laughs> um, her tail is beautiful. There's like some frills around her waist, like a little seashell there. I love like the swirls. This is definitely like oceany flowers. Um, those are the flowers that Ariel um, pulls the petals off of, you know, whenever she's counting in the movie. That is definitely where that is from. Um, also the sea stars, you know, all that is very recognizable things. Her tail is lovely. So it's like swoosh. It's very heavy. Um, same thing with the Halle Bailey Ariel doll. You have to snap the tail on separately, which I, I think I understand. You know, it's too big for the box, <laughs> but it looks like little waves to me. Um, it's all sparkly. So I don't know if there's like a wrong way to do that. Oh, we just lost our bracelet too. I will have to look for that. See, I'm just, I'm, I'm telling you, it's sneaky. I found it. Oh my gosh. I'm so scared. Since I lost my um, Tiana, I lost one of my ILY Tiana shoes. So I'm so terrified I'm gonna lose something else. <laughs> but I don't think there's like a wrong way to do. Oh my gosh, seriously. This silly bracelet. I'm just gonna have to keep it off till the end. <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess there's no wrong way to do it. It's just pretty, um, yeah. She does get really tall whenever you add that, like, come on, wow. <laughs> like, really, it's, she's very tall. 
<laughs> All right, well, Miss um, Ariel can bend this way. She can sit down, which I think is very cute, you know, and maybe now we can put that bracelet on her. It, it seemed like it just was stretched too far. Maybe we could just sort of try to mold it back. <laughs> I don't trust it still. Okay, so just as with the other uh, story collection dolls, I guess that's what I'm going to call these, is deluxe um, story dolls, Playline dolls by Mattel. There is some accessories here. So first off, we have Sebastian the Crab. This seems like a bigger version of his small doll counterpart. So he looks awesome. He's painted red. He's got his white eyes. <laughs> got his little legs. <laughs> He's just happy to be here, you know. <laughs> All right, the other accessories are sort of, um, I guess, ones that she can hold. Let me, um, <clears throat> let's put this bracelet down because I don't trust it. I don't trust it. <laughs> okay, so there is a shell sort of necklace. Come on. That matches the bracelet. How oh, pretty. So it's like white, has a shell on it. Beautiful. She also has a sea inspired mirror. So the handle sort of looks like a fish and there's like little nautical little things on it. Of course, there's this not a mirror, but it's painted to look like that. And you can hold that um, in Ariel's hand with the little handle. And last but not least, I really like this dingle hopper. Come on, dingle hopper. The dingle hopper looks like a big fork, of course, straight from Prince Eric's castle, I'm sure. It has a little swirly little seashell on there. There's like a little um, hinge on it, so um, I suppose Ariel is able to hold it, maybe like with her thumb. Maybe that's what it's intended for, maybe. Oh, or maybe like, um, like in her hand. <laughs> How cute! Oh my! And then we've got our ocean mirror in one hand, and we're just ready to fight the crowd, you know? We're ready to take on Ursula. <laughs> oh, she's so pretty. I love this. Um, now I'm excited to do a review of Rapunzel. I already have Rapunzel, I'm just, you know, waiting to do a review on her. All right, well, so I'll just set her here with uh, Sebastian. Really cute. All right, let's bring in her friend, Bale. All right, Miss Bale. <laughs> Just trying to say her name with a funny accent. Uh, all right, Miss Bale. Um, this is the Castle Stories Bell doll. So um, as, we'll, as you can see here, it has similar things that the Ariel doll does. So there is a necklace, there's a bracelet, and then a corresponding accessory, which with Belle, it is a rose. And of course, Belle has shoes because she's not a mermaid. But um, I don't know. I just thought that the hair on this Belle doll was just pretty yucko. <laughs> um, <laughs> and of course, she came with um, chip and a cake. Um... I have that over here kind of next to me, so I'm just looking over. But yeah, she come, she came with chip and a cake and a rose. So there was all kinds of other accessories too. So, But I'm so excited to do a review of Rapunzel now so we can complete the trio. <laughs> okay, everyone, that was everything here with uh, Sea Stories Ariel. And if you haven't seen it, check out my review of Castle Stories Belle on my channel. Um, I may just make a playlist for these reviews because I'm just now realizing these are all part of the same line. <laughs> all right, well, if you guys enjoyed, please let me know. You know, if you're excited for the next review, um, what else would you like to see? Um, all right, I will see you guys next time. Okay, <laughs> bye bye.